What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new attack strategy video as we are constantly seeing the meta change at Town Hall 10. We're starting to see very, very unique attacks trying to take down these single shot Inferno Tower uh, base layouts and wait until you guys see this attack strategy that we have been seeing working very, very well uh, on these new meta bases. So definitely down in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think of this attack strategy I'm about to show you guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But yeah, we're calling this attack the Valk Dive Bar. Uh, cannot wait to show you guys this. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so if you look down at the troop bar, this is gonna be our very first example. And just like any attack strategy, there's always going to be uh, slight variations. You know, it's, it's always dependent on the base, but this is going to be, as we're gonna see, I have three replays for you guys. Um, the, the, the premise, the, the base of the attack is going to be the same. Uh, ideally, we'll go ahead and pull this up real quick. Ideally, the bases that you're looking for is both Inferno Towers being set uh, to multi-target, check. Okay, we see that on this base. The other thing, ideally what you want is you want a base where each flank is gonna go. You want that side, you want each side to be flat. It's very, very important uh, that you have this. Uh, from what we're seeing uh, for the clan castle, it doesn't even really matter uh, whether it's a hound, you know, whether it's a, a damage CC, a golem, does not matter. Uh, and you also are going to have uh, giants going into the base. You're going to have anywhere from seven to ten giants, uh, coupled with at least five to seven Valkyries. The rest with bowlers, and you'll have a a witch flank. On this one, we're going to see a bowler witch. Uh, flank going up the side over here uh, at six o'clock and they will be walking up and then over on this side we're gonna be seeing Queen uh, and she's gonna be pathing up this way what's really nice about this base as far as ability and how far it's gonna last if you look where she's gonna be starting there's only a couple point defenses over here guys uh, and again it's always gonna be base dependent that's why I, I like showing you guys on a new attack strategies more than one replay uh, and yeah, so you're just gonna be jumping into the base. You'll have a jump right here uh, You also have a pair of rage and a heal similar to a bitch attack But works what's working so well at this is you're sending in so many uh, You're sending so many troops into this base the bowlers uh, the Valkyries the Giants also have an example using CC Giants you have so many uh, troops with medium to high HP where it's just too much for the base to handle. They end up completely wiping out the core. So as always, we'll go ahead and hit play. Uh, we can talk about it all day, but you guys need to see it uh, in front of you live. So we go ahead and see Queen down. Uh, standard, four healers behind her. And of course she is well out of range. The healers are well out of range of that air defense. So she's gonna be working. We do have a wizard working on the town hall. And here comes down our three witches and our three bowlers just go ahead and set the funnel at six o'clock again going up jump spell already down notice how uh, sweet barbie did split his giants to make sure he tanked uh the cannon and the archer tower um so yeah initial entry can vary it's all dependent on the base uh so we do see that this um that we did have a golem and a balloon coming out of the cc and there we go. Uh, you can already see the, the half of this base has already been eliminated. And you'll see that um, Queen is still going very, very strong on this flank. All the point defenses other than the Tesla are being distracted by that kill squad. And you know that you have a successful attack when both flanks have survived. And check this out. Uh, look how healthy um, this side is doing. The skeleton's doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, tank all the point defenses as the witches and the bowlers are sniping all of the defenses from over the wall. 
And you'll see, uh, again, just like on a standard bitch attack, just like on a lot of attacks at Town Hall 10, things do often peter out towards the end. But you can already tell that this is going to be a three star. Uh, it's just way too much up for the base to handle. Uh, we just have a cannon. You got a little 40 Archer Queen. She's going to win every single time. Uh, but that is the basic idea behind the Valk dive bar. So let's go ahead and check out a, another example using this brand new attack strategy. All right, guys, here is the next base we're gonna be taking a look at. We have Luke, the Lalo slash Queen Charge Hog Master, uh, Queen Ho Master, giving the Valk Dive Bar attack strategy a try. Um, so, like we did just in the last attack, again, one thing that you can see, marking off two checks here, we have both Inferno Towers on single target again that's check number one check number two a nice beautiful square layout and of course making sure that two jumps are going to get you more or less from one side of the base to the other is also a, a key element or a key ingredient uh, to having one of these successful attacks uh, what's really really interesting on this one he does do it he does do it a little bit differently you are going to see queen come down actually in the, in the same spot that we saw on the other attack What's very interesting about what Luke did, as we know, single shot Inferno Towers, for some reason, always find their way to take out the BK before anything else. He, the BK can have 100 troops surrounding him. Does not matter, single shot Inferno Towers, uh, they're favoring the king. So what Luke does, instead of bringing notice, Luke has no witches in this attack. Like I said, there's a lot of different variations to this attack strategy. Uh, he goes ahead, he's actually gonna be sending his king up this way uh basically he's gonna be doing a kiwi walk so he will have uh a few uh wizards behind his king to make sure he passes up and sets a nice tight funnel for the main push and again we'll go ahead we'll see a jump spell come down here and we'll go ahead and see a jump spell come down here to make sure he has access to both the inferno towers and the back into the base uh, on this one for the troop comp like we said it, it does vary but we have five healers um, and we're going to be using that on the Queen Walk. This one, we have 13 Bowlers, 8 Valkyries. Of course, there's no Golems in the Valk Dive Bar. But Luke, I'll go ahead and hit play. Luke is going to be bringing CC Giants. Guys, uh, Clan Max Giants in your CC. That is, if at a Town Hall 10, you're bringing 7 of them. That's 10,080 hit points coming into this base, and that is a lot of damage that they'll be putting out as well. Notice uh, he does have one healer behind those giants, uh, the other four, of course, on the on the queen. And here you'll see, here's his Kiwi walk, uh, starting over here at 6 o'clock, walking up. Uh, similar entry to the, to the last attack uh, that we just reviewed. So here we go. We do have uh, the single shot Inferno Tower taking out, picking off those giants one by one. Uh, but under Rage, this was a damage CC, so we have seen a Golem CC, and we now have seen a damage CC, um, and the attacker is winning every single time. Clan Castle is pretty much non-existent on this attack strategy. Uh, jump spell leading everything to the back end, and you'll see that Kiwi Walk did do a fair amount of damage. We even still have some Valkyries up, guys, clearing, just carving a path. For the bowlers and for the queen, being uh, Luke being very very patient on his queen ability, uh, he does he does still have that available. And you'll see right here uh, with one cannon on her, uh, she is going um, to uh, her health is going to keep increasing uh, with only one point defense on her. And you'll see things have petered out, but it's all about time. Because you have so many Valkyries, because you have so many Giants, you have so many Bowlers under four spells going into this base, or under five spells uh, going through this base, you wipe it out so fast. And like we saw in the last attack, uh, the Queen pretty much going to be wrapping up this attack. Uh, we do still have a couple point defenses left, but again, we do still have her ability. There's only one more uh, defense left up. That's going to be a can going to be the cannon. Even with 10 or 15 buildings up at the end, it, you still know uh, there's still a minute and a half to get through them. A very very strong attack strategy, as we have been seeing. So we'll go ahead and check out the third and final example, and this is the attack, uh, the very first attack I saw, the creator of this attack, DYS from FYSB. Let's check it out.
All right, guys, this is going to be the third and final example of this attack. Uh, so as you see right down here on this one, uh, we're healing the bowlers on the flanks, as you see with the healers up here. And ideally, um, this isn't even the... I mean, ideally, this wouldn't even be the base, the, the style of base you would normally even at use this attack on. Uh, like we are saying in the beginning of the video, you pretty much want a rectangle and or like a square style base, meaning where the sides are flat, as you can see. Uh, this side kind of comes out a little bit. And even up here, the flank ended up dying. Uh, and like I said in the beginning of the video, this was actually the DYS, the person doing this attack right now. This is where we first saw this attack. I forget where he said he saw it or where he had heard of the idea, uh, but he has been absolutely smashing with this attack as well as a lot of us in Forge from Steel right now. But as you can see right here, Queen is going to step into that little compartment where the CC was, and Bowlers are tanking that single target, or that single shot Inferno Tower. Uh, Pops the ability, even gonna be ending on a Tesla farm, guys. But look at the work that this flank is doing over here, being nice and patient with that heal spell. And you'll see, we do have a Bowler on the outside of the wall just helping uh, trim this trash, get nice, uh, value from those bowler bounces and look at this flank over here still going strong uh, right when I said that of course a giant bomb went off and a seeking air mine took out his healer uh, but if you look at what's left you have to look at what's left on this base all we have left of any threat is pretty much an archer tower and two Teslas but if you look down at the troop bar the DYS still has his king ability uh, left to deploy um, so, or, or left to use, and you'll see this base ended up, I mean, it's just similar to like a bitch attack. Starts off slow in the beginning, all your spells going right into the core, pounding through those single shot inferno towers, getting good value for your rages, good value for your heals, and that's what we're calling the Valk Dive Bar. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Give it a try. It's very, very powerful. Uh, again, like we were talking about in the beginning of the video with single shot Inferno ITs where pretty much two jumps uh, are going to be leading you to both of the Inferno Towers. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like uh, the video if you liked it. Comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Almost at 3,000. As always... This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.